Oh yes, my people, this is Smart Okosin TV show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to give the latest update concerning what is going on in Biafra land and within. Today is another special update. Please, 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 as you are about to watch this video, like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more of our video coming up. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, men and women of goodwill. This is Emmanuel Oremidius bringing to you the update of today. So, uh, the developing story is that Finland, after concluding the investigation, will sue Nigeria for misinformation. For misinformation. And let me tell you people one of the things. You know those jubilating today. You don't know what you are in. Do you know that all the criminals in BDOS, Interpol, you look for them and get them, no matter where they are staying, for crime against humanity? Because we have the documentaries of China Samuru ordering for people's help to be cut off. We have the voice of the criminals in BDOS asking for poison to be given to anybody supporting Simon Eber. We have every documentary of the atrocities of Nigerian government and they will be sued accordingly. This is to tell you that no evil goes unpunished. They are jubilating today. He who laughs last, laughs the best. In case if you don't know, let me tell all of you. And let me tell the criminals that are jubilated, oh, we have come back. It is better you run now because this is the best time for you to run because Interpol will come for you. When you are being supplied, when the necessary uh, evidence is being taken as it is going on now, all of you will run no matter what. And let me tell you people what you don't know. Those that deceive you to use your face, you cannot identify those words. But we will pick all of you, no matter where your domicile is. That is the law, and that is how it will go. But for the meantime, I watched Ikenga Ugochine saying that he is the one representing the Nigerian government in the prosecution of Master Simon Eber. These are how you people useless yourselves. You can go to the They came from the same side with me. Very, very useless thing. I thought that something is upstairs before. I never knew that this man is empty. He said that he is the one representing the Nigerian government of, to, against his own brother. Why don't you represent the Nigerian government against the terrorists in the north? Why? Why are you not the person prosecuting the terrorists in the north? When Good Luck Ebele Jonathan was president, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan sought to end Boko Haram. The northern has agitated and said a kill at Boko Haram is a kill at the north. That do Good Luck should leave them alone, let them go and settle their problems amicably. But in our land, in the land of Biafra, I watch and see how your people raise the terrorist militias. Those ones have been donated by the U.S. At the appointed time, all of you will run. I have your, your China Samuel, the faithless criminal. He's looking for anybody who is in Francophone country to be writing for them. Who want who? If IPOB is intact, IPOB covers everywhere. We are the original IPOB because we covers everywhere. Even the Francophone countries that you are looking for. There is no fear that the Biafra government in exile is not domiciled. So if you is the IPOB, can you come on social media to look for people from Franc Francophone country whom you will pay at Mugu. It is as a failure that you people have failed and collapsed. Because you started with lies and deceits. Whatever you get by lies, you will lose it by lies. That's sure, and that is the law of karma. I am here to tell all of you that I watch Ikengu Gojin 
gentlemen, saying that he is the lawyer, I mean, he is the representative, he will speak to Finland today, being Sunday, that he will speak to Finland. And I wonder how many times Ukengu Gojide has spoken to not against the terrorists the ravaging our land, ravaging the north, I mean to say, against the terrorism perpetrated by the Boko Haram Caliphate, by Fulani Caliphates. I want all of you to know, those whom you think that they are, that they are your leaders, they are Islamic converts. What is happening before you is Islamic conquest. The Northerners have just tested their armory day before yesterday. They just tested their nonsense to tell you that they are, they are coming. When they come, where will you hide? When the Northerners come, where will you hide? And that is the reason why we will keep on supporting the government of Biafra. And by the way, Finland is six days to go. Is it six days? What is today's date? Yeah, Finland is five days to go. Five good days to go to Finland. That is the reason why we will keep on supporting the Biafra government in exile. Because everybody can agree, but we are not going to try and make it. We are not going to try and make it. We are not going to try and make it. We will continue to support the Biafra government in exile. They have shown leadership. They have shown that they care about the people of Biafra. They have shown that they care about our people, and we must support them, not those who are supporting the Nigerian government. Not those who are looking for writers on social media. We have all the documentary and it will be submitted. I thank God for a day like this. For these people to open this case so that the Biafra people will have and will, will, will have a space to present their case. And they have opened the platform. This is what we sought for. During the time that Mazen Mandekanu was around, he prayed and said, God, make these people take me to ICC so that I will prove to the world the crime of Nigerian government. The Nigerian government have taken us to Finland. Finland, not only Nigerian government, let me tell you, the Biden administration, the, 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 the British caliphates, the British caliphates and the rest of Islamic emigrants, they are, they are forcing the EU, please help us, help us, help us, and as corrupt as they are, they want to help to bring down the freedom of over 50 million people that have voted in the referendum. And the Biafra people are standing gallantly to defend their rights. And I am here to tell you something. They have provided the platform for Biafra people to present their case. We have all those voices. Anybody supporting Mr. Simon Eber, Susan Pupishi, anybody supporting Mr. Simon Eber, Susan Yedanko, anybody supporting Simon Eber, Susan Yedanko, we have all those voices and we will present it. But what the people laughing today doesn't know is that they will be home for. Because this has come international. China Samoa will be home there. We are not Switzerland. Thank God you are in the country that laws to pick you is like a cockroach. They will pick you overnight. Wait and you will see. Those who went to Kenya to commit international crime is now looking for platform to be had after sponsoring terrorism, after killing Biafra people in, at a war, at a camp war, at a, at a, um, um, Aba High School, at Iwata, at Asaba, at a, um, everywhere. Water was even the brutal one of the one of the deadliest. Over one thousand people more died a day. 
At Afaruku Ibeke, at the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, they mold every living thing down and they are now going in a national to tell them a national that Simon is a terrorist. He came to Ugo Chinere. We have your video. We are you claim that it was Nigeria who sent the terrorists who came and burned down your house in a brutal way. And those people was unraveled to be DSS officials. Have they been brought to justice? We are Biafra people. Never again is now. We are fearless before our enemies. If you people need all of us to kill, we are ready to calm down so that you kill all of us. Let us know if you will never ever die in life. We have never spilled any blood. What we defend is ourselves against terrorism, against those who have said that we will die on timely death. That is the only thing that we defend. But you people choose to lie. Now, the Fulani husband have come to Enugu to steal another blood. And till today, no arrest. Even if they make arrest, you will not hear anything again. But if an evil man is caught stealing paper, it will be in every news the best stealer in Nigeria. They will put it in tunnels, they will put it in all their news, the best stealer, just the way that they advertise events that he is the highest and deadliest kidnapper in Nigeria. We are raised Wadume. Case of Wadume have died down. Nobody knows about the case of Wadume. The people caught in Yoruba land, killing and pillaging, those cases have died down. We don't know anything about them. A terrorist caught in the north has become a police inspector in Nigeria. This is how Nigeria rewards terrorism. And when we stand against this impunity, they will come after us. Using these money mongers among us, they are celebrating, oh God, we will go to December to jubilate. I am going to December to jubilate. Our land has been invaded, and we must fish out the terrorists who invaded our land. That is how it is supposed to be. Not jubilating over your brother. That is how. But for the meantime, don't get it twisted. Finland, in due time, will sue Nigeria when the time comes. They will sue Nigeria. Wait and see the turnout of the case. That was the reason why the Prime Minister told you that I will drag their members to follow me. Nigeria is doing a case after committing crime, international crime, still holding Mazen and the gun. They are going international to do case. We welcome that. The lies of Kano that cannot stand. The lies of Akuneze man cannot stand. The lies of China Samoshi cannot stand. All of you will be arrested internationally. Wait and beg me. <laughs> you don't know this. You go international. Oh, we have gone international. Thank you for reporting your atrocities. You will come to prove it. And from there, we will know who is next. So my wonderful people, I hope soon I don't hear all the things where this our brother explain here give us what do you feel about this update do well by dropping your thoughts in the comment section don't forget to like and share this video so that other dear friends will get the opportunity to see and watch it and as you do so god will bless you thank you so much so my people i am back again with more updates my people regarding all the situation where they grand now that concerns our pm so my people when i not say in the previous video where i don't drop today i don't tell when i say the finland don't declare our pm say you not commit any crime rather nazu terrorists not then commit crime so my people inside this video we are going to be seeing 
see the letters so they said right now the finland they are about to sue the zoo terrorists for misinformation yes so say they lied against them on our pm so my people don't go anywhere in this particular video after seeing one or two updates i'm going to be playing the video clip that explain everything you need to know about where did they go on right now hmm not be smart you know now person we go waka leave this video halfway we're not gonna watch this video to the end now you go miss all these updates where this video go give you you really need to know what is going on right now regarding this particular situation according to this our brother he said dear alestop finland government and whatever it's like said this is one of the invasion of nigeria army nigeria police terrorists against our people they invade villages kidnap burn down houses and anyone they kidnap will never return again millions of victims our only remedy is Simon Eba. Chai, my people, let me go ahead and play the video clip that came with this particular update. Yeah, which are property in the mud. Because these bastards are with a lemon. I can't help my man at these people. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Ah. the second building. The second building, I'm going to all this money. Can you hear me? I have you here, be able. Yeah, we love mad. We love mad. Here is the hand this money. We love the mad. We love the devil. Allah, I'm here. There is no more. It's a word. So my wonderful people hope say when I don't see them, this is one of the crime, the atrocity where these people they commit inside our land. They go just commit and go score free. So my wonderful people, this particular update is coming from China Samoru and him, he said here, the Nigerian military must be cautioned on their activity in Biafra land because they are about to open another chapter of confrontation in Igbo land. This humiliation and bullying of a youth because of his culture is very wrong unless this young man committed any crime from the voice one can hear that these soldiers are of Yoruba extraction. This bullying and humiliation to this young Igbo guy is an assault on Igbo culture. These are some of the things that lead people to attack military checkpoints in Biafra land because after this humiliation, some of these youth goes back to avenge how they were humiliated since no one can defend them the nigerian military must as a matter of urgency call this terrorist soldier to order and if anyone knows this boy ask him to report to ipob inquiry number the particular army's checkpoint that humiliated him in this manner <laughs> my people imagine china's aworu pos people 
condemning and calling the Nigerian military zoo terrorists. <laughs> okay, the same thing, our PM Neku. Now, everybody, don't they clear for our eyes. So, my people, let me go ahead and play the particular video clip where he was reacting, saying all this thing for. It is so, so pathetic, my people. You really need to watch this video before we see what Finland won't do to Zoom now. Masculate, sir. Masculate, sir. Masculate, sir. How is your mula? Eh, you cannot, sir. Masculate, sir. How is your mula? How is your mula? Next sir. How is your mula? Masculate, sir. Masculate. Now you come the clear grass. Say you don't get to do again, no? sir. You don't get to do again. Don't worry. By the time I'm done with you, even your masculine self will leave you and run away. Okay. Even your masculine will see me and say, Tu Ali Baba. Okay, Do sir. you understand me? Yes, yeah, you cannot, sir. Okay. Do you understand me? Okay, masculine. Okay. How is your mura? How is your mura? Shout my head. My head. Will... Shout thank God. Are you a bad size? Is it? My people, on a CM, you see this video, why I just post for now? When will I just watch? I have to cut out some areas because of YouTube. If you want to sue the masquerade, if you want to Maya, and YouTube no like all those things, I need to remove them. My people. So, when I don't see as these people don't reduce our culture, too. And according to China Samoru, all these POS people, he said that the guy where do am the zoo terrorist army, he said the guy in a Yoruba person who she person fee go do this kind of thing against Yoruba culture and the person will go scot free. When I don't see not only our human rights, our own rights they violate. Now they don't they enter our culture. Eh? So much for watching. I go see you again in my next update. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in to Smart Okason TV show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to keep the intellect flowing.